Hey there folks, welcome back to Bubble Round Tree Outdoors. I'm your host Wade Rush. We're back down at the Rush Family Range. I'm gonna be talking about a subject that I hear from a lot of you guys about. A lot of folks are really interested in the bigger, bigger end of the buckshot. So we're gonna be talking about the big quads. Four alt today, 375 cal to be specific out of one of Marty's molds from Marty's Arms. Y'all stand by. Hey, it's Marty with Marty's Arms and you're watching Bubba Roundtree Outdoors. Hey there folks and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. I hear from a lot of folks really interested in the big shot and the big buck shot. And the quad alt is about as big as we can stack in a 12 gauge round. It can be a little bit tricky, but we can get it done and make some really, really effective rounds. So uh, let's get after it. One of the first things that I discovered working with the bigger pellets, and I'm talking about like triple alt and, uh, and quad buck, Triple alt being 36 caliber, quad being uh, 380 caliber, or real close to 380 caliber, is the slower you push them, like I'm talking 1100 foot, and the parameters of 1100 foot to 1300 foot seems to be the sweet spot for, for these bigger pellets. You get up, I've pushed them all the way up to over 1400 foot per second, and it has a tendency to scatter them just a little bit. So we're not wanting to put that kind of pressure on them. You want to keep them between oh god well we'll call it a thousand foot per second really between a thousand foot per second and thirteen hundred foot per second seems to be the sweet spot for triple alt and quad buck in my experience alrighty let's get our first round put together folks the uh, first thing we're going to need is we're going to need 32 grains of IMR blue. And I'm going to tell you right off the bat, whenever I say 32 grains of IMR blue, match it right up. 32 grains of Alliant blue dot will work equally well. If it happens to be 30 grains, 31, 32, 33, you see what I'm saying? No matter what the weight is on the IMR blue, equal weight of the Alliant blue dot work equally well. And I'll tell you right now that the IMR blue is a little has a little bit a little bit more pop so what what I'm saying is the same weights are going to work fine in your gun but your Alliant blue dot is not going to be quite as fast as the IMR blue but it will work equally well just going to tell you that right out the gate when I'm talking about these two blue powders I just happen to have the IMR blue in the machine right now so we go with that they work equally well for me I love both of these powders alright that being said let's get the lock and load programmed up to drop 32 grains 32 and a zero and an enter to lock it into the lock and load dispense okay the first we've got Remington Express 3 inch once fired Remington Express 3 inch holes I put the Winchester Western primers are installed in all of the American hulls today boys Winchester Western primers, all of them. Oh, let's say first one gave us an overcharge. Now, just because it says it overcharged, it don't mean it did. Sometimes it'll throw it out a little bit fast, and the the scales won't be able to catch up with the auger. So let's hit enter right here. Let's see what it really is. See what I'm saying? 
it is uh, it is 32 grains. It was dumping it out quick. And sometimes I find that scale is a little bit slow catching up with the auger, and it'll think that it overcharged. But you just hit enter, and it'll sit here and weigh it. Whenever you hit enter, it's like it'll take another reading or several more readings, and it shows you what it actually is. So it actually is 32 grains. It didn't overcharge. All right. Let's get that dropped in. And it should zero and start up on the next one. All right. We're going to need, on this first load, we're going to need ballistic products, Flex Seal. I just cut this off the bag. I get them by the bunches and I dump them in this little tote right here. But that's what it is. It's the ballistic products, Flex Seal. I love these things, man. I tell you. Great in buckshot loads, great in slug loads. But anyway, flex seal. And that's all the seal we need. We're not going to need anything else. I'm going to, let's see, I'm going to use the uh, 650 over here. See that wad? I put about 20 pounds of pressure on it. Okay, and when I talk about it being a little bit tricky with the quads, uh, think about it this way. A 38 caliber, 38 caliber side by side. Uh, put those together, that's 76.76 inches wide when the bore on a 12 gauge is 7.3, 729, 7.3. So, Whenever, in my experience in these rounds, you want to let these pellets find their own way. You don't want to put them in the hole and pack them down in here. You're going to dimple it out so bad that it's not going to load into your shotgun. So we need eight pellets. I'm using uh, the 375 cal out of Marty's molds. That's some big boys right there. And these are just alox and graphite coated. What I mean by finding their own way. I hope y'all can see down there pretty good. These lights, I got trying to get plenty of lights so you guys can see good, but they are hot. Okay, we're going to take our first two, drop them in here like that. And if you look, they don't stack down in there all the way. Not all the time. Sometimes they will. But what I do, I just shake them around a little bit. Just feel around and check and make sure it's not dimpling the hole and all that here. And it looks like those are just about all the way down. Next two. Those are like they're trying to fall in there pretty good. But see, we're not packing them in there. Next two. That's six. There's eight. You see where they landed? They're not in there exactly uh, symmetrical. That's okay. That's okay. Now, these rounds, buffer is extremely important extremely important you can also take this and just shake them around a little bit and help them to seat to find their way then I cover this in, uh, in ballistic products original this is a great day almost set my camera up a little bit too high These are big pellets with pretty big spaces in between them. So, the powder, this is like a 1.5 ounce load, 1.4515 ounce load. You want to make sure your buffer, we're putting plenty of buffer in here, covers your pellets. Okay? Very important because we're taking up all the space here in between these great big pellets here. All right, we're just star cramping this one. Man, alive. I'm in here all funky. There we go. All right. That's a little bit better. This miracle nail you get from the dollar store. I love this stuff. I try to cap, take this miracle nail and put a dab right here 
on the end of all these crimps, it seals that round up and won't let that buffer come out on you. Okay, and just with my experience, there is slight, very slight dimpling. I can tell by looking at that that that's going to load fine. I test every one of them several times with these big quads. I'll get my Stoger, drop them in, and lock it in the battery and make sure that that, uh, that bolt goes in, rotates, locks in, play every time before I put these in my belt. But, uh, but anyway, I can already tell through experience this one is going to be just fine. So I'm going to note this. Let me take you down to the range and show you how this round performs. Folks, in today's episode, we are shooting the black gun, the Stoger M3000. 28 inch barrel kicks buck kicker choke in standard full configuration topped with the true glow triton three color dot system and i love it okay folks our first shot is a once fired remington hole remington three inch hole winchester western primer 32 grains of imr blue a flex seal, a Ballistic Products flex seal, and over that we have eight 375 cal quad buckshot out of Marty's molds treated with just alox and graphite. We are at 50 yards, just over 45 meters. Stand by for the shot. All right, that looks good. All right, everything rolling, babe? Seventy-two. Okay, deer and hog hunters, check that stuff out. There's only eight pellets in there, but they're 38 cow, or 375 to be exact, out of uh, Marty's molds. Let's see, we got one, two, three, one in the bull, four, five, six, seven. Seven of eight, and I guess I'm guessing that's one of these. That could be it right there. Number eight probably flew a little bit high. Brand new Fioki three inch prime, which has got the Fioki 616. 32 grains of IMR blue. There we go. Ballistic Products X12X seal. Excellent. One of the best seals I have ever used. These things are built like a tank. And with the new stuff, it's real easy. X12X seal. Top that with the Ballistic Products FC12, FC for fiber cushion, half inch fiber cushion wad on top of X12X seal. Just an old marker. I used to make sure it's tamped down on top of our powder. You don't hear it rattling. You ought to be good to go. Same scenario, same thing. We're going to get eight or 375 cal quads out of that I uh, molded out of Marty's molds. Now, the Fiocchi holes are a little thinner than the Remington holes, so you've got more room in here. Okay, you're going to notice they're going to stack better. Drop those two in there, and I think they just about fell right into place. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, now I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how high up these came here? 
So, what I like to do is I take them, I just cover my thumb. You see, I just kind of tap right in my hand. See how they settle in? Let's, like, do this again in slow motion. I pinch it between my middle finger and my thumb like this and just take it and hammered it right on my palm just like this right here hit that hit it on my palm two or three times the hole is not dimpled at all and you see they settled in now we're gonna roll crimp this in some instances whenever you do a regular star crimp it will dimple the hole out too bad and I have noticed now in my research that roll crimping works equally well especially with these great big pellets so we're going to cover this in buffer very important very important get a clear overshot card outers gun oil white give us a little sheen right there just a little bit of gun oil and over to the old lineman roll crimp tool you get a feel for it you just roll it till it feels like it stops or if you're not sure just take it out and check it Looks good. All right. All right, boys, let me run you down there to the range and show you how this one worked out. One note on that round that we just put together. Guys, the uh, some of your guns, that roll crimp might be a little bit high for some of your guns. It's not for my Stoger, but for some guns it may be. I have also, uh, what you can do is take this half inch fiber cushion wide, tear it in half. Tear it in half and make two. Make them a quarter inch. Put that on top of your X12X seal and then do your roll crimp and that'll make sure that you've got enough room in uh, that you can crimp that hole low enough to where it'll work in your gun if that round won't work all you've got to do like I said use quarter inch instead of a half inch and you'll have plenty of room to roll crimp that round okay folks shot number two brand new three inch Fiocchi hole 32 grains of IMR blue we have an X12X seal from ballistic products with an FC 12 half inch fiber wide from ballistic products under eight pellets of 375 quad and we roll crimped this one with a clear overshot card covered in ballistic products original buffer all right babe here we go All right, what we got? Looks like we got. Looks like we got six or eight. One, two, three, four, five, six of eight. But look at here. This is what's important. One, two, three, four, thirty-eight cal pellets that I can cover with my hand right in the center of the paper, and two more that probably would have struck the animal yeah you get you get struck with six quads that's gonna ruin your day all right guys our next really good performer is also a brand new primed Fiocchi three inch hull and once again we're gonna need 32 grains of IMR blue 
32 grains of Alliant Blue Dot work well. You can also bump the Alliant Blue Dot up to 33 grains in this load if you want to, in this quad load here. But let's get our uh, 32 grains of IMR Blue. Ballistic products. Ballistic products. Flex Seal. I love the Flex Seal because that's all you need in these quad loads. Flex Seal down. Make sure we got eight pellets. Eight pellets of quad. And once again, we're going to do the same thing. Six, seven, eight. And that don't look too bad right out of the gate anyway. That looks pretty good. Remember? Just like this right here. It's a little bit dark right there. So they find their place. They settle right in. Alrighty, complete coverage of Ballistic Products Original Buffer. It may seem like a lot, but it's really not. Clear over shot card. And we are ready. Hit it with the gun oil. And now we're going to roll crimp it. Feels like it stopped right there. That's because it did. Absolutely beautiful round. Alrighty, I'm going to take you all down to the range and show you how this one did. As I might have told you guys, I've heard from a lot of folks that just do a lot of roll crimping or mostly only roll crimping their buckshot. I'm showing you just how effective these can be. Got another one here. Got a brand new Fiocchi primed hull. It's primed with the 616 Fiocchi primer. 32 of IMR Blue a ballistic products flex seal and over that we got once again eight pellets hard cast out of Marty's mold 375 cal all covered in ballistic products original buffer and a beautiful roll crimp with my old hundred year old lime and tool all right let's shoot this one Alrighty, babe, here we go. Eleven thirty-four. Oh yeah. Okay, we got there's a big fat double strike. One, two, three, four, five, six again, six of eight. And we got a double strike right here, and one, two, three, four, right there across the top, the center of the paper right there. Pretty dang consistent, folks. Pretty consistent. Alrighty, boys and girls, our last load requires 31 grains of IMR Blue. 32 would work okay, but like I said, we're trying to keep the velocities down a little bit here. So, what you would, we do here on the Hornady, you hit the back cancel, hold it down, clears out the program, We'll dump this back into the hopper. Now we want 31. 31 and zero to get past our decimal. Enter it. Target weight is entered at 31 and dispense. A little over three years with the Hornady lock and load, I have no complaints. It's been a good one. It really has.
it's going to think it overcharged again, but I don't think it did. 31.1 is well within parameters. Alrighty then. Grab our once fired Remington Hull Winchester Western Primer. 31 grains. IMR Blue. Obturator 12. Obturator 12, a little bit different design. Great seal. A little bit different design. It'll sit a little bit lower down into your uh, your hull. And we need as much room in here as we can get. See, it's, uh, it's cut out, dipped on both sides, so it will sink lower into your powder charge. All right. We need this. FC-12. All right, we got it. I'm going to put them on the 650. Obturator 12 seal. FC-12 fiber cushion wide. I'll put about 20 pounds of pressure on it. Grab eight quads. And once again, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They don't fit in there bad. Okay. See how they settle? They find their place. All right. from right up here all right They're all nicely covered in buffer and once again we're gonna star crimp this See, we get a little bit of over cramp. That's where this really comes in good, too. I don't think there's anything going to leak out of it, but whenever I hit it with this uh, nail hardener from the dollar store, you know nothing's going to leak out of it. All right. I'll take you down to the range and show you how this one did, and this is going to wrap it up. All right, folks, we're going to wrap this one up. This is once fired Remington. 3-inch Remington Express 3-inch Winchester Western Primer, 31 grains of IMR Blue. We have an Obturator 12 gas seal from Ballistic Products topped with the um, FC-12 fiber cushion wide, half-inch fiber cushion wide, all covered in original buffer, and we just crimped this one quad buck treated with Alox and graphite. Here we go. Ten ninety two. Just under eleven hundred foot per second. Those are some dang big pellets. All right. We got wow, let me see. We got one, two, three. Four. There's another big fat double strike. Five, six, seven. We got seven or eight that time. That is an outstanding hog and deer load there, boys and girls. Outstanding. Okay, folks, appreciate you joining me and Rachel at the range today. It was uh, it's a lot of fun when the temperatures are in the 70s and we're not getting completely eaten alive by the bugs and mosquitoes and all that stuff to get down to the Rush family range and show you how that big buckshot really works well. Appreciate y'all riding along with us. This is Wade and Rachel saying we'll see y'all again on another one very, very soon.
Bye-bye.